New Kiwi-led research looks set to prevent one of the most common causes of brain damage in babies. The study, for the first time, identifies a safe threshold for treating infants born with low blood sugar, a risk for almost 30% of all newborns. Health reporter Laurie Mason explains. Amanda Kamani's type 1 diabetes meant her two-year-old son Tobias was born high risk for having hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, the single most preventable cause of brain damage in newborns. It was just worried about was he going to be okay. He was, but of the 30% of new babies at risk, 15% suffer negative health effects, including brain damage. Now a new international study, led by researchers at Auckland University's Liggins Institute, has made a discovery to prevent much of that harm. The six-year-old study examined 404 babies born at risk of hypoglycemia at Waikato Hospital, whose low blood sugar levels were raised with a dextrose gel or injection if needed. From that, researchers have now identified the exact safe minimum blood sugar threshold doctors need to meet when treating a baby born with hypoglycemia to eliminate harm, 47 milligrams per decilitre. We've been worrying about whether we're under or over treating these babies. I think we can now be much more confident that if we treat them to this level, they are going to be safe. It's really good to know that, OK, this is the number. The baby's cognitive progress was tested at age two to reinforce the findings. Babies most at risk of hypoglycemia are those born premature, extra small or extra large, or whose mothers have gestational diabetes, a common condition which prompts the fetus to produce too much insulin, causing the baby's glucose levels to tumble after birth. The study, part funded by the Health Research Council, also shows babies with fluctuating glucose levels in the first 48 hours of life are at the highest risk of brain damage. It's about aiming to keep sugars stable in the middle, in the middle of the range rather than pushing them very high or letting them drop too low. Providing reassurance for the first time to doctors and parents worldwide. Laurie Mason, One News.